Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a very simple video of a how-to Japanese skincare for beginners. So this is for my beginners or for someone that is looking for a very simple J Beauty Japanese skincare routine. So when you think of Japanese skincare, there's two ethics to align with. It's consistency and lifestyle. And the goals within Japanese skincare is to purify, polish, plump, and nourish, which within this routine, we're gonna do all of that. I got you covered. So let's begin. First step within this routine is a powder cleanser. This focuses on the purify and polish goal. And with a powder cleanser is that it's a mild cleanser that has enzymes in it. So not only does it cleanse the skin, but it also helps to gently exfoliate it without ever stripping or being too harsh to it. So I love using powder cleansers. I do use a foam maker with a powder cleanser. So I have two options here. I have these small travel cap um, powder cleansers that I use within this video but i also really recommend the fansol powder cleanser i use this one at nighttime and it's so good powder cleansers last a lot longer too um they don't really have that many preservatives in them either so there's not as many additives as regular traditional foam cleansers and it does do those two main skincare goals it does purify and it does polish because with those small enzymes in the powder cleanser it does exfoliate and make the skin nice and bright and polished i know though guys that some people people are a little bit mm, iffy about using a powder cleanser don't worry i will leave in the description box other japanese drugstore cleansers that aren't powders i feel would work good for beginners and within this routine okay so the next step is the goal for plumping we're going to plump with the naturey skin conditioner i love this i've talked about it so much on my channel but what i do is i just go in and i pat one to two layers of the skin conditioner in. I usually do two, but if my skin doesn't feel so dry, I just do one. The Jobs Tear ingredient in this really helps settle irritation as well. So this is a must step within a beginner Japanese skincare routine. In order to really plump your skin, you need levels of light hydration, and this Naturey Skin Conditioner is going to give you the first layer of hydration that you want to really like plump up and to make the skin become more hydrated after cleansing with the powder. So the next step within this routine is to sheet mask. Japanese sheet masks come in very large packs, so they are used on the daily. And the one I have here is the Sabrino um, Matcha Sheet Mask. And what this does is that it is easy to use, it's not messy, and it doesn't have that much essence in it. So it acts as like a refreshing cleanser slash toner pad, but it's just an easy way also to get hydration. Quick pop on less than five minute sheet mask. And this is going to really focus on the goal of nourishing or getting ready to nourish your skin because it's going to add a layer of hydration which plumps up the skin, but it also is nourishing with the ingredient within the sheet mask to help kind of create an essence on the skin before you're gonna go in with the serum. After I've done the sheet mask, I remove it and let the essence dry and I go in to do the nourishing goal with the Sana Soy Milk Serum. This is a basic hydrating serum, but the soy milk does have long-term effects. Um, it does help the skin radiance over time. We're nourishing the skin now with the Sana Soy Milk Serum. It's also a really great basic serum that really helps to calm down irritation. But as far as like a quick fix, this definitely is it too because it will nourish and plump up the skin like that. Okay, so after we applied that layer of serum and let it dry down, we're going to finish off with the Sauna Moisturizing Hydrating Gel. This is the Sauna Whitening Gel. I've talked about this within the Sauna line a lot, but I love this because it's lightweight and it breaks down super easily onto the layers of other skincare. If you're in a rush, the skincare steps really dry quickly, so don't worry about that. Just worry about making sure that all your hard work doesn't get wiped off and let those layers dry. So I finish off with the sauna whitening cream this one in itself i talk about a lot i love to use it as a makeup prep step as well but as far as like a basic hydrating gel moisturizer this one amazing so this is what i finish off the skincare steps with uh, last but not least i know this is for beginners but please start using a sunscreen this is going to protect your skin and with any skincare routine um, we want to protect our skin most important one of the most important steps so i use the two finger method i know it seems like a lot of sunscreen but it's the right amount and within japanese drugstore skincare um, there is tons of different formulas consistencies of sunscreen but the one i recommend for all ages all skin types is the biore uv agua rich 
which it is just a really great basic sunscreen. I always go back to it. It is an SPF 50 PA 4 pluses, so you're getting the maximum amount of protection wear. Especially for the warmer months, you definitely want to be protecting your skin as much as possible. So at the end of this routine or any skincare routine you do, make sure to protect with a sunscreen how so to good. japanese skincare for beginners but i want to just mention this don't get discouraged by the steps if this routine does not seem like it's going to really fit with all the steps within your daily routine don't stress yourself out about it what's really important especially with the beginning skincare is just to do it consistently and to enjoy it want to get into japanese skincare but you're a little intimidated by doing all of these steps i totally understand so what i really suggest you guys do if you want to cut out anything Thing is just use a cleanser whatever cleanser you have and then try to get the skin conditioner this is one of the most important steps to help plump your skin up so this is one of the most important steps in my opinion to do along with a moisturizer if you wanted to add in the serum of course it's going to make even more of a difference you just stick with these three so cleanse your skin with whatever cleanser you have um, tone and plump it up with the nature skin conditioner hydrate it and nourish it with the cream the sauna whitening cream and protect it with the sunscreen so that just cuts out like the serum and the powder wash and the sheet mask and all that and within time you can slowly add steps within your routine it's whatever you feel comfortable with because remember the two main keys is to do it consistently and make it part of your lifestyle so within japanese skincare just try to think of consistency as key and also to make sure that it's not a chore to you it's like a lifestyle choice so that to you. is my how to japanese skincare care for beginners if you do have any questions please leave it in the comments down below i will also list all of these steps and the skincare products i used within those steps in the description box i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next skincare video bye